I can answer the question no, I, I need to the, the, bring out the reference. The key actually to what you are doing is to find out whether 1000 observations over a period of one minute will give you better result or 1000 observations over a period of two days. That's where the key, the key of this would lie, if you can verify that. Because, you know, there is also a longer term effect and there is a shorter term effect. Right? So, which one will be more beneficial to you? 1,000 observations over one minute or 1,000 observations over two days? Mm, it depends on our, uh, the underlying the, the state uh, equation. If it is so which we don't know. We don't know that equation, right? Mm. So the validity of that equation depends on the observation. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. once you, if you are able to do that, then I think you have a good potential of making a lot of money. <laughs> because what is what is happening nowadays that the actual data, the Wall Street operators are have become smarter than this. They know all that. They are now hiring the best mathematicians in the world. Plus, they have one more thing: they can distort the picture by launching like a billion stock sales in one minute. And they can do it. So that distorts the whole picture. And then they gain and they walk off. So yeah. there are multiple things going on in there from the point of view of making some real money from the algorithm. But if you can verify that with real data, which one is more beneficial, having a shorter period of observation or a longer period of observation? Yeah. Where do you want to make money from the longer term trend or from the shorter term? Yes. Which is which could basically be more Brownian motion. To make, uh, to which one can uh, estimate the which state one can give estimate. you better estimate? Yes. yes. And even though the amount may be one tenth of a cent, but multiplied by mm. a million shares and it becomes some money. Uh, we, uh, you, we have have this kind of uh, uh, underlying state. Uh, we, we use uh, 